it's time to step up your game. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! You're listening to Game On. Talk on Punch! Your inside track to gaming and fitness. Of course! Mamma mia! We've got interviews one-on-one with your gaming experts. Hi, folks. This is Jim Cummings. This is Courtney Taylor. This is Duke Nukem. And we'll help you keep fit along the way. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Get ready, because Game On starts now. Game On! Game On! Game On! We have an incredible guest joining us on Game On today. She is a reality show host, an entertainment correspondent, a model, and and an actress. This girl does it all. For gamers, you might know her best as the host of Sony's reality TV show, The Tester. Joining me on Game On today is Meredith Molinari. Meredith, thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Now, Meredith, you've got quite the history behind the microphone and in front of the camera. How did you get your start? You know, I started off modeling, and I got my first hosting job doing music interviews for bands. So it was all web content for a company called Vlaze.com, and I did a rock show, a metal show, and then a singer-songwriter show, and I got to interview a bunch of bands, and that kind of got me into hosting, and from there, I was just addicted. I couldn't stop. (laughs) So with all the experience you've had, what's your favorite part of being in this field and being in the spotlight? You know, I think my favorite part about being in this field is all the different people you get to meet. I mean, whether it's on set with the reality show and the different contestants or all the different events that I've been, you know, pleased enough to be invited to, you meet a lot of incredible people with really big personalities, and I enjoy that. (laughs) Now, being a personality for many of the shows you've hosted, it can be a really demanding job with some pretty long hours. What's your trick to balancing the time working on camera with the time needed for needed exercise? You know, you have to make time for it. I think that's what it comes down to is you have to make the dedication and, and it would be very easy to be like, oh, you know, I have a 12 hour day tomorrow. I don't want to go to the gym. But, you know, if you get that run in and then you're on your feet all day tomorrow, the next 12 hours, that's it's going to be just so much easier for you. You just have to find a way to make time for it. Or, you know, I, I definitely remember on set of the tester doing some tricep dips on the chair in my trailer. <laughs> so you got to squeeze it in wherever you can. Oh, very nice. So do you consider yourself a hardcore gym goer or do you prefer other forms of exercise? You know, I love the gym. I have recently been quoted on Twitter as saying I run like a mad gerbil. I'm a little addicted to my treadmill, but I love free weights. But, you know, I get bored easily. And I think that's a problem with people quit when when they're in a fitness routine is you get stuck in, in a rut. And so I enjoy doing yoga. I love going for hikes with my dogs. And I was recently given a copy of Just Dance. And I have to say that is quite a workout in itself. I definitely don't have moves like Jagger, but I'm working on it. Yeah, those are some pretty tricky moves to pull off. Seriously. So, Meredith, you've been hosting Sony's big reality TV series, The Tester, for the past three seasons. What's it like being a part of this show? Being a part of that show is probably the most favorite job I've had hosting. The crew that they had every season was really awesome. 51 Minds is amazing. Working with Sony and the PlayStation Network was just such a gift. I think my favorite part about it was every season we had these group of dedicated gamers where, like, video games are their life. And you get to see them go through the entire experience and, you know, you start rooting for them and you get sad when they leave. It really is a big family and I so much enjoyed being a part of it. Well, exactly. I mean, you get to interact with these hardcore gamers, these tremendous personalities on the set of the show, and that's got to have some interesting moments. What's it like getting to be with the gamers as the show runs its course? It's such a fun experience for me because I'm not one of the judges, so I really get to see a different side of them. You know, when they're in front of the judges, and, and we have some pretty heavy hitters as far as our special guest judges from the game industry. Season three, when we had, you know, you got Todd Pappy, and you're like, that's my future boss. You know, it's pretty intimidating, but with me, they kind of get to relax, and you get to see some funny sides to their personalities, and they're just, they're so dedicated, and they, they all want to work for Sony so badly. It's really fun to root for them, and I kind of get to be their cheerleader, so I enjoy that. So suppose I wanted to be on the tester. What's the process a gamer has to go through to be included in the reality show's cast? 
You know, it's quite a long process. They have a couple avenues. The first thing you have to do is you have to make a video. You have to make a video saying why you should be the next PlayStation game tester, your gaming history, your knowledge, anything that's going to grab casting's attention. Some people put on silly costumes. Other people had, you know, a lot of crazy editing. But you have to make a fun video. And then from there, the casting directors will choose a group of people to interview over the phone. And then I believe another group was actually flown out to California for an in-person interview. And then from that, they whittle it down and, and choose the cast. But the last two seasons, we also allowed the wannabe cast members to make videos and put them online so the public could vote. So if you get enough people to vote for you, you could actually just kind of win your way onto the competition. Very cool. So a lot of the case there, you had the popularity vote and... That brought in some interesting characters, too. Like, you had 8-Bit Mickey in Season 2 and Ego Raptor in Season 3. Yes. Both of them total characters. So, looking at this, then. The Tester 3 ran its course 2012. Do you think the show will have a fourth season? Ah, uh, you know, I think Sony has their hands full right now with the PS4 this year. I think that's probably where all their attention's going. You know, I, I know that production and, and the PlayStation Network were really happy with the trilogy that we created. And so I don't know myself of any plans to do a fourth season. If they call me, I'll be there in a heartbeat. But as of yet, I haven't heard of any plans to do a fourth season. Meredith, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. If people want to know more about you, where should they go? Oh, you can follow me on Twitter at rockme underscore re or on Instagram. It's the same one. You can also check out my Facebook fan page at meredithmolinari.official or meredithmolinari.com. And I believe I've got links to YouTube and all sorts of other fun stuff on there. Meredith, a pleasure having you as the guest on Game On today. Oh, thank you so much. It was awesome talking with you. That was reality show host and model Meredith Molinari. I'm Jeff Johnson. You're listening to Game On.